Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome to Ducky and Josh channel. Yay! So today is Sunday and we are just coming back from church. So we thought to share some of the things that we learned in church today mm -hmm. with you. So my highlight today was um, our Saturday scriptures, which is like our Sunday school session. Mm -hmm. We learned from the New Testament, Matthew chapter 23, mm -hmm. where Jesus um, openly rebuked the Pharisees, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, Pharisees. the supposedly um, most educated mm -hmm. and learned, foremost religious leader mm -hmm. then, right, yeah, yeah. Um, in Israel, mm -hmm. rebuking their way of hypocrisy, their, their mode of judging people or enforcing mm. laws, mm. right? So, key note for me is, um, which also speaks, which also speaks to the fact that Jesus is not about the laws or about our uh, performative expressions. Mm. He's the infant of our heart mm. and the most important thing is that our heart be true mm. with God. Yeah. It's not about maybe the the outward things that people can see, maybe the way we dress mm. or the way we speak or mm. the way we carry ourselves in the public, mm. but rather our own um, relationship with God, our own communication with God personally, mm. besides what we want people to perceive yeah. of our relationship with God. Yeah, yeah that's one of the things I love. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I mean, similar, in the same line, mm. for me, it's the fact that Jesus did not call those people into a private place mm -hmm. to rebuke them. There's a place for private rebuke. Mm. There's a place for public rebuke. Mm. Because the lifestyle of those people is not just influencing themselves. They are public figures. Yeah. Their lifestyle influence other people, other people and so he rebuked them openly mm -hmm. right um and in fact linking it to one of the things the head pastor said during the uh, message for the exactly. day about yes. that the david okay okay you david <laughs> so yeah. david and um he said something like there are not a lot of natans in our time mm. there are not a lot of people that will speak true to power there are not a lot of people that will rebuke a man of God openly openly if he's doing the wrong thing, wrong thing because they're like oh they they yeah. quote they are Papa, mama. They are, yeah. okay. so but then we have to you know compare mm -hmm. scriptures in yeah. the time of Jesus Christ like the teacher said many of them don't have the full Bible mm -hmm. so it's usually the leaders that have you know access to this uh, yeah. these scripts mm -hmm. right so but in our time we can't Thank give God the same this. excuse we mm -hmm. have he said he said in fact in the house there are maybe two three bibles yeah. there's digital bible you know yeah. so there is no excuse for us to let hypocrisy to try which means that we also have to know god for ourselves absolutely beyond whatever people are telling us because sometimes they have human beings, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just like the case of the Pharisee, mm. there could be element of performative, right? Mm. You, you don't know. So, but if you know it by yourself, yeah. you'll be able to um, discern mm. by yourself that okay, yeah. this is mm. this is how God wants me to live at this yeah. time, and this is what will be pleasing to yeah. God at this time. Yeah, and that is the thing that the Berean Christians, you mm. know, exercise. The Bible proves them as people who. They did not just listen to the word, mm. to teaching in the church. Mm. They went back to confirm mm -hmm. whether those things were true. And that is the same thing we should do. Mm. Don't just take everything hook, line, and sinker. Mm. Yes, trust your pastor. Yes, trust your leader. Yes, mm. honor them. Mm. But test, I mean, yeah, that's search, the test our spirit. <laughs> search the scripture for yourself. Yeah. And also, it also speaks to the fact that we shouldn't be afraid to to share what the good news is mm. don't be um don't be um too much oh i'm respecting these people just like the way it is at work mm. if there's an error we'll be able to communicate oh there's an error um even if somebody's making an error we can always guide them that okay this is the right way to go mm. like even when people are 
making errors, especially things that are fundamental to our faith mm. and our values, even as Christians, we shouldn't be afraid to call them out. For example, uh, Jesus also said that oh, he speaks openly against fornication and adultery, mm. and then some people will be like, oh, if you do that, other people will not come to your assembly. You mm. mentioned that in the message, they won't come, but he said, this is the word of God. This is the gospel. I have to say the gospel. I have to, like, I have to let people know, right? Yeah. So we shouldn't also be afraid to call out things that are not right, mm. especially things that are fundamental and call to our beliefs mm. and our, on our values as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that pretty much it. Uh, it we, we hope. We hope you've been blessed in church today mm-hmm. and inspired as well. You can also share with us what you learned from church, or mm-hmm. even if this short clip has blessed you in some way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Peace out. Peace out.